Hey folks, I'm Josh Veal. And I'm Randy Johnson. And I'm Seamus Young. And, uh, we're playing Mass Effect. We're talking to Captain Kirahi. I think he has a plan. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. He'd better, I'm Sorts? stumped. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crew, we keep perfect. Ship's drive system into nice. A Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll yes, he's going to drop his drive well from orbit. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide You know, the despite Cohen's gung ho ness, we've got their attention, you can sneak this sounds like a very bad plan. I just hope you survive long enough shadow to be useful. Yeah, we have inferior we're numbers, look, so we're going to divide ourselves into three I don't groups. Many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. I don't make a habit of placing my people in the So this is annoying. Plan. I understand that this mission is too important. This decision here, like, away. is telegraphed as a big thing. So my first playthrough here, I thought, like, oh, whoever I send with him is gonna die. I'll go with the Solarian. But, um, it turns out that that is not at all the case. This decision doesn't matter at all. The only difference is where people end up on the map. This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. In that case, they can have Ashley, since that means she won't die. Because Caden is a dead man. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Let's do this. Yeah, you can change do like your how mind like how two more times, me, don't you? I need to prepare my men. <laughs> yep. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid. At least two more times. I do we'll like see. how in the future we'll be our we'll see. Yeah, starship just... power drives can be converted into nukes. It's a dangerous situation. All you have to do is open, flip a switch. It's a but yet we never bother to just open, bring a nuke. Despite the fact that that would be incredibly useful, useful and not take up much space. And this is hilarious. Remember uh, way back in like episode 4 when I said that uh, the part where you're talking to the council and trying to convict Saren was the hammiest part in the game? I totally take that back. This is the biggest ham in the game. Oh, really? I like this speech. I like it because it kind of re it kind of reveals their their kind of weird character. Like they are really not made for brute force military, and even the things that he mentions kind of reveal that. And while that is cool. He also chants, hold the line, over and over and over. In the battle today, we will hold the line! Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. It's over there. So, Rex and Tali again? Yes. I don't want to take the time to inventory manage for the others. Yeah. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. Like how they give us two options for that. Yes and yes. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Now, I tried to undermine their defenses as much as possible, and I never saw any difference. Yeah, I don't know what it does. 
I mean, I was never able to, and uh, maybe XP. I just didn't get them all. Oh, XP, is that it? Like, there's all these things you can do to weaken their forces, and what I wanted was to get back to the ship and find some Solarians alive. You know, like, they'd gotten on our ship and, and made it out with us. But you, you never see that. Check for long -range turrets. Help them I wonder if the outpost is important, Tali. It's an unimportant outpost. That's why they stationed Geth here to guard it. Oh crap, I got Paragon points for doing that. You got Paragon points for talking down Rex, too. Even though you picked the renegade options all the way through. I wonder if it was like you could pick either one of those options to the left, and one of them was the Paragon one, and one of them was the Renegade one. Yeah, the map really outlines just how artificial this place is. These, these carefully constructed cannons that go in circular patterns. Like, you kind of don't see just how bad it is until you bring up that map and all of a sudden you realize you're in a maze. Yep. Which is pretty much status quo for level design. Oh, uh, that's very true. I have to do is shoot that little thing on top of the tower once and uh, you should get... Yeah. Quit earning Paragon points, Randy. You softy. Yeah, I like this one. Don't you just shoot them down? Yes. Like, yeah. yourself? Yep. Yep. Like, oh, their entire force can't handle their... these flyers. So the plan is to shoot, shoot them down and you down. shoot fuel tanks. So you go in with your pistol and shoot them all down. That's nice. Although I think Randy's heading the wrong direction. The wrong direction for loot. Well, it's never the wrong direction for loot. Wow, there is nothing over here. So I can't remember how many times I've bit it coming around this canyon corner over here because they have like rockets and there's like always three of them that just chuck rockets at you but like, not Yes. Yeah, this is a tough one. Yeah, here they come. They're dead. Wow, that was, oh, that was oh. remarkable. There's a little refueling station there that they use, and they're all attached to it. If you blow it up before they see you, you kill all of them. Unfortunately, uh, two of them saw me before I killed it. Still, I, you, I always ended up fighting all of them.
Shadow Team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. You already gave that speech, sir. What was so this place before Saren red. took it? Oh, I'm sure it won't release bad guys once we walk past them. So what was this nope. building before Saren took it? Ah, uh, I don't know if it ever was something before Saren took it. Maybe Saren built it himself. So apparently we missed something. We missed something. He went to the Home Depot. I think we need to go to the security office on the opposite edge. Yeah, I went to the Home Depot of prefabricated multi-level concrete bases. Yeah, you've got to flip that switch over there and then you can go through those doors, I bet. Do I hear artillery in the background? So it says this is the facility entrance. Um, um, you can go down on the ground over there. Also red. Oh, but this one's decryptable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not messing with it. Omni gel. You'll survive with a little less. Omni gel in your hair, Conan. Enemy contact. Contact. Now, just did everybody check the uh, the sewer level off their their scorecard just now? Yes, I think that qualifies. I was so unenthusiastic about this level, I didn't even really mention it. I, I was thinking about it and I was like, nah. We've got access to base security. We can put the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Williams can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. I hope they're ready for this. You're such a team player, Conan. <laughs> Yay, renegade points, guys. Nine. That was actually a lot of renegade points, considering you usually this get them in like, chunks of two. Yo, you gotta admit, that was a pretty big jerk move right there. And then it got stuck on the thing. Wow, we're actually out of Omni Gel too. That's interesting. What? So. I, who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savada of the Third Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. He's not part of the mission. No. No. I, I need to get out here. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. So that's insane prisoner off the checklist. Let me out. 
Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Ha! Ah. I never okay, that is so that is... much more satisfying than letting him out so that he can try to kill you. I never did that, even on my Renegade. Why didn't I do that on my Renegade playthrough? Or, I don't remember that moment. Hold still so I can punch you, or die. Okay, so that elevator right there... Sadly enough, is the way we need to go. How did I survive that? I was so enamored of the hacking minigame when we first started, but just like the one on the console, I get tired of that after a while. Probably a lot less tired than Simon says, though. Yeah, I'll give you that. Needs to pay. Hi, Husk. Well, this can't possibly backfire. Dr. Dreyas, a.k.a. one of only two Krogan scientists ever. Are you including the one in Mass Effect 2? Yes. They don't really seem to have much good luck, do they? No, they don't. Yeah, all their this, scientists this... are like... are like the worst possible thing for the Krogan. Like, I understand why so few of them are scientists, because... their scientists are not very helpful. Well, I thought it was going to be a welcome addition. <laughs> it's not. Rex is now pink. Good game, Mass Effect. Why would they put pink Krogan armor in the game? There is never a case where you will want that. Like, it's not like the armor that goes on you or... Williams. That's, like, only for Rex. And somebody made it pink on purpose. So I thought this okay, was... so... I no, there's a door back out here. the other way. No, go forward. Yeah, go forward. Thanks, I, I see it. Maybe you're supposed to figure out a way for Ashley to wear that Krogan armor. Actually, I take that back. It showed up on the map, but it's not actually here. You walked past it. It's against the wall to your right. See it? See it? No, that would be my right there. No. I'm pretty sure that this direction, when I when I look like this, that's my left. No, that's like I'm gonna turn left here. Right. And I'm gonna get shot at by Gap. Randy, you you have a driver's license, right? Yes. Shoot. Okay, good. Just check. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Don't shoot. Oh, here's Dude, another person in BioWare's ongoing like effort to make this galaxy feel as tiny as possible. Here's another inconsequential two-minute conversation and PC that you'll meet again in Mass Effect 2. Give me one reason. Oh yeah, you do meet her again in Mass Effect 2. Yeah. I don't meet her again. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Full access. All of Saren's private files. Full Are we good? Can I go? You conducted brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped oh. Saren. You don't See, I just want him to say no I and then shoot her. I know. Are we good? Can I go? I no. I go. no. I that would have been so I'm much sorry. cooler than this. No. No! This is, when did 
he start caring start about Victor? Hey, you did it in one shot this time. It's true. It's getting better. <laughs> what is it about executing? Like, the only people you can ever execute are the blue chicks. This game is racist. That seems to be a recurring theme. People. That's a really pretty view, too. What, of the pink Krogan? I don't think he's very pretty. Come on, guys. Rex is I mean, just getting in touch with his feminine side. I feel like I'm carting around Ashley after she gets married and fat. <laughs> Shepherd, that is look quite over here. some hair dude. Like here. here we go. I'll just walk up to it and oh. Why the hell does he just have a beacon sitting here? Waiting for you to use. Ah, oh, that was some good burritos. And he didn't manage hey, to blow this hey. one up. Yeah, we, we're doing better. Our hair did not blow this one up. I'm not sure if that means that our hair has lost its potency or if we're just getting better at controlling it. You are not Saren. Oh no, it's a what space crab. Some kind of VI interface? Brilliant Would observation. Creatures of blood and flesh. No, I am not Saren. Touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Yeah, thanks for telling us about the realm of existence well, and all that. Just uh, some Reaper ship Saren found. You got any, like, it's an actual Reaper ship Saren. food? Reaper, a label created Reaper. by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to I like how you just walk up to it and he starts we waxing philosophy or... about your the doom. Vanished 50, years ago. You, you don't ask any questions, you just walk up to it and go like, what the hell is this? Life is nothing but a genetic mutation. And then it just starts talking about how it's superior and you suck. Years and decades, you wither and die. We are eternal. So I guess that pretty much makes Sovereign the equivalent of Windows Vista. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. Now could you tell us what that plan is so that we have a leg up? Cycle what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. Legacies you know, for an infinitely Why wise being, the he's like tipping quite a bit of his hand here. It's like, thanks, that's very helpful. Finally someone tells me what the hell's going on. We were created to deliver exposition. We are beyond your comprehension. We impose order on the chaos of organic Here is some backstory. You exist because we allow it, and you will end. Because we demand it. They're harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your It's time? like a game of Farmville. Region, the time of our return is coming. 
Our numbers will darken the sky of No, Legion is a character in Mass Effect 2. You're sovereign. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. What do you want from us? Yeah, Slaves. good luck with that. Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This I have to say, is over. I am not impressed by that one. Machines can be broken! Commander, we got trouble. Yeah! I guess. Get on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's Wait, Sovereign is parked here? Yeah, the one saw fit to tell us that? Idea, Shepard. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Him saying that does not fill me with confidence. This whole time we could have been at the breeding facility planting the nuke and we were piddle farting around while Ashley and the slaves died. So, it wasn't really totally in though. character for Conan. Nice charge. Swing and a miss. The gas are turning from your position, J. S. Oak. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. We kicked a sensitive spot by talking to Sovereign. Up. And away. And away. Up you go. Yeah, so uh, next episode, we're going to uh, actually plant this nuke. And Caden will die. We Mark maybe. my words.